When the excavator stalls, first determine if it's due to engine or hydraulic system issues. Quick Diagnostic Methods for Engine and Hydraulic Issues Today let's discuss diagnostic methods for direct injection engines, focusing on smoke emissions. If an excavator stalls, the severity of black smoke may not correspond. In other words, it might lose 500 RPM without smoke, or even stall without emitting any smoke. That indicates a power issue. Power issues involve components such as fuel pumps, lines, turbocharging systems, and the shutdown circuit. For EFI systems, diagnostics can be based on travel operation. If it stalls during operation at a specific point while moving or extending the boom to a certain position. It's challenging to detect in the case of electronic fuel injection since it differs from direct injection engines. When a hydraulic system stalls, the smoke matches the stalling condition at 500 RPM and increases in intensity at 800 RPM, with thick and billowing smoke. If the drop is only 200 RPM but there's a lot of smoke, that's also not right. Based on smoke volume, the direct injection machine is the quickest. In this situation of a stall, we distinguish between its light and heavy load. Some stalling occurs during heavy excavation, some with minor movements. Adjust the heavy load when stalling with minor movements, adjust for light load with a marker, and return the smaller one after the major adjustment. In case of a heavy load stall, if magnetic stalling works, reset by loosening both small nuts at the end simultaneously, starting from one end. Loosen this section, push outwards four times, push and twist inwards once, repeat once inward, then reset. When unsure how to judge idle state, lean against one side with the bucket, 